Hey Slices! Today we're making these DIY nature inspired bracelets. I was inspired by all the fall colors that are starting to come into play. Plus, it's going to be a really easy craft that doesn't take much time once you get the hang of it. So let's get started. You will need seed beads or regular beads, a needle and thread, elastic cord, a hard surface, two binder clips, scissors, glue, I'm going to be using hot glue, and a button. To start your project, start by taking your hard surface, I'm using a piece of foam board, and attach a binder clip on the top and bottom. You can use anything though, like a book or a clipboard. Next, select the colors you want to use in your bracelet. Then, take the piece of elastic, and cut a piece that's about twice the circumference of your wrist plus six inches. Then thread it on a button into the center and tie a knot right below it. This will secure it so it doesn't come off. If you wish, you can put your beads into a container so they don't get all over the place, but you can skip this if you would like. Now, cut a piece of thread that's about five feet long longer or shorter depending on your wrist. My wrist is about average. Then you can thread a needle on to the thread. Just make sure a bead can fit through the needle. Then get your two loose ends and tie them together. This will leave one big loop of thread. Now you can attach your piece of elastic with a button onto a clipboard like this with the button under the top and the ends at the bottom. Now we're going to attach our thread on like this. Starting on the left side, take your thread and place it under just the first piece of elastic. When you've pulled almost all the thread through, before the knot, you're going to place your needle in between the two pieces of thread. Make sure you do this before the knot. Then, pulling all the way up will create a slip knot. Slide that knot just below the knot and tie a few extra knots for security. Now it's time to add beads. This is how you do it. Always starting on the left side, thread on a bead onto your needle and slide it down the entire piece of thread so it's sitting like this. Then slide your needle under both pieces of elastic, adjusting it so your bead sits in between the two pieces of elastic. It'll get easier as you go because the elastic will start naturally spacing itself. Then, once you're on the right side, take your needle and thread it over the two pieces of elastic going through the bead as you do this. This will secure the bead on. Keep in mind your first bead might be a little bit wobbly, but as you work, it'll get easier. Repeating again from the left side, slide on a bead onto your needle. Take the needle, go under both pieces of elastic, Make sure the bead is in between the two. Going over the pieces of elastic, thread your needle through the bead. Repeat until you have the desired length. I use 28 beads. When you've reached the end, tie it off with a knot. I do mine by going under the first piece of elastic, leaving a small loop, and threading my needle through. I repeat this four to five times so I have a secure bunch of knots. Before you cut either of your threads, place a bit of glue over the knots, let it dry, and then cut your strings. Make sure to do this on the top and bottom. To finish off your elastics, tie a knot underneath the beads, making sure it's tight. Apply a spacer, I used a pencil, in between so you have a hole for your button, tie another knot, Trim the ends and secure them with a bit of glue so they don't fray. And you're done. Here are some examples to get you started. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I upload every Sunday, so if you'd like notifications in your inbox, make sure to subscribe. And please, comment below telling me what do you think of the new layout. Also, Halloween's coming up, which means there's going to be Halloween DIYs galore on my channel. So if you want to have all of those coming right to your inbox, make sure to subscribe. Thank you to all of my subscribers, and see you guys next week. Bye!